physical game. Um, definitely only saw in one. In terms of that late hit, is that the most sore from this one? There was a couple here and there that were good hits, but at the end of the day, it's football. It comes with it. While preparing for this game, did anything stick out that Army surprised you with? Not necessarily. I think we surprised ourselves. We had one of the best weeks of practice we've had all season, and that did not translate today in all positions, especially quarterback. Um, we're a lot better than what you saw tonight, which is very frustrating, but we can also be encouraged, you know, with last week and this week of practice. Would you say that hit that you took at the end was one of the hardest that you've taken, like, just in your career? Good hit. I'll give props to that, but popped up quick. Evan, you know, it's, it's hard to believe these guys had no sacks in their first, whatever, three games. Did you see that, Dave? I don't know. Like, why do you think I was? Like, what did they, what did they do today that finished off the run? You know, credit to Army. Um, everyone will tell you they were the better team today. They really were, and you know, they're a physical team. They play hard and. We just didn't play as well as we could have. How much of a momentum swing was it when it looked like you had that first touchdown, you're up 7 nothing, and you know, they take it off the board and it didn't seem like you, know, you ever guys really got the momentum back after that? Yeah, it was definitely a killer. Um, we talked about all week about us starting off fast because we struggled with that. And, you know, it just, it's part of football. It is penalties happen and you got to be able to adjust and, and figure it out. Uh, with, with, with Dante, right, can you talk about just the connection you've built with him over these last three games? It feels like we're hearing his name on every play and yeah. just ha having that guy that you can go to in any situation and just give him the ball and he's always there. Yeah, I, this is my fifth season of college football. He's one of the best players I've, I've been with. Um, he'll make you right a lot of the time. He, and then once he catches the ball, he's tough to get down. So Dante's a heck of a player. Uh, I'm grateful to be on the same team as him and, you know, also a very good leader on this team. And like with his rush ability too, I mean, he's out there playing wide receiver, but he's also returning punts. He's on punt return sometimes. I mean, just talk about the versatility he brings, just yeah. doing everything. Yeah, it's, it's got to be tough for the opposing team, you know, going against Dante. Brings a lot to the table, like you said. You know, make guys miss on kick return or punt returns. Um, once he has the ball in his hands, he's tough. Were your eyes sort of more downfield than they've been in the last couple of games? Yeah, yeah, it, we definitely threw the ball more, I believe. I haven't looked at numbers or anything, but we had a little bit of everything in today, quick, deep passes, screens, all that stuff. How about when you, it seemed like there were a fair amount of time, do you look to run and maybe you thought there was something there and did they close that out pretty quick? Yeah, they're a defense. They don't let stuff behind them. Um, they want to try and keep everything in front of them and they'll drop guys from the D line. Their linebackers are pretty good. They just, they do their job really well. They know where to go, where to, where their zone drop is and stuff like that. And a good defense. Last week, the run game really like opened up the passing game for you guys. It was big, basically non-existent tonight. Just how big was it or how big of a factor is that run game now that you saw it with, with there was nothing going? Got to be able to run the ball, number one. Uh, we'll figure that out. You know, we have bye week coming up. So that's that's got to be a big priority. I'm sure it will be. But we're just going to continue to trust the staff and and do what they tell us. You know, they, they put us in great positions. At the end of the day, it's the players. It's not the coaches. It's the players. It's the little details that we're not able to do all the time. And that's leading us to losing by four scores. And, and it's, you know, we got great players on this team, a lot of talent. We got to pick it up. The players got to pick it up. Do you like, if you guys are seeing it in practice, why do you think it's just not like a coming game day? It's a million dollar question. You know, it's got to happen. I think, you know, I, I stood here last week and said leadership took over this team. 